Organizing a basketball competition sounds easy. All you need to do is get some players, book a court, and hire some refs. Wrong. So let me explain what went down for me to organize fresh off the court a basketball competition to integrate our foreigners into Singapore communities. How many teams or players do I want? For this competition, I wanted everyone to get a chance to play. And normally for a game, you get 8 to 9 guys in a game rotation. And I figured that 10 players would be just nice to just make up for any no-shows or last-minute issues with the teams. How many games do I want each team to play? So while I was thinking, I didn't want the league to last so long that it was difficult for them to commit. However, I didn't want it for it to be too short, like a one or two games. So I wanted it to spread across a period of time whereby they could get into a rhythm, get to know each other a bit better, and hopefully you know, form, some, form some bonds. So I landed on 6 games. Now here comes the interesting parts. What do I need for a competition? The basics. So the basics of a competition, you know, just for it to function, would be I need a court, I need referees, I need a scoreboard, and I need players, of course. Basketball courts. For the courts, I had to pick based on location because I wanted to bring all the players to different parts of Singapore to give them an idea on what Singapore has to offer. I had to find six different courts for the six different games that we will be playing. So I had to call counselors or community centers. I had to email the different town councils. I even tried to contact Sports SG. And this was honestly the hardest part of organizing the competition, getting the basketball courts. So after two months of me continuously emailing and calling, I finally landed on these six courts. So we went to Telok Blanga CC. After that, we headed to 508C Wellington Circle. After that, we went to Chochukang CC and proceeded on to Tampines West CC, Wan Pongo, and our finals was held at one international community school. The referees and scoreboard was simple, but I didn't want this competition to just be something that you attend and forget about it. I wanted it to be professional. I wanted it to be memorable. I wanted it to be impactful. So to do so, I had to do five things. Jerseys, the court setup, media coverage, goodie bags, refreshments and services. And for this competition, I had my girlfriend Elizabeth as the 2IC to help support and organize some of the tasks that we would be doing. So the name Fresh Off The Court is actually a play of words around Fresh Off The Boat. And if you didn't know what Fresh Off The Boat means, it just basically means you recently arrived to a new country as a foreigner. So after we got the name nailed down, my 2IC worked on the legendary logo for Fresh Off The Court and that would then go down in the history books of competitions in Singapore. So now with the logos locked in, we now had to design the jerseys. We went through countless of designs, going back and forth with our supplier, trying to find out what would be the final design. And finally, we landed on this. Functional, simple, and yet aesthetic. The jerseys were reversible and we also numbered them off, ensuring that no numbers repeated. This would be easy for us to distribute and assign numbers to each player later on. The court setup. Having a plain and bare basketball court at each location would be boring and it doesn't even look like an organized competition at all. So we had to get some A-frame banners and a couple of pull-out banners to decorate the court. Media coverage. Well, to me, media coverage is the most important part of the competition because if you didn't put it on IG, did it really happen? So I took it one step further by hiring Nathan, also known as Pear Snaps, to cover the event as well as putting up a live stream so that our players and members of the public were able to access any of the activities and games that were happening live every single Saturday. So this allowed everyone to get a glimpse into what was happening on the day itself and we also had full game replays which will be posted on our competition website the day after so that players could go back into their games and watch and see what else they could improve on for the next game. Goodie bags. So how do we get goodie bags when we got nothing? Sponsors. Finding brands and sponsors who resonated with what we were doing was key to getting them on board. And my 2IC was in charge of this and she managed to clinch a few sponsors after reaching out to multiple brands over the course of two months refreshments and services. So to top it all off, we provided our players with drinks and refreshments after their games just to keep them hydrated and on top of that, they also got access to physiotherapists before the games to tape them up and you know give them a sports massage before they started their game. We also had a first aid team covering each of the games just in case that there were any accidents during the games. And finally, we are done. Wrong. We are not there yet. We now have to do registration. So I created a registration page 
with all the information on what the players will be getting and the dates that they will be playing. I use the Google form to gather the responses, but the most important part of this process is to only allow them to sign up as a max of three people because I didn't want the players to come in as a team and you know, eventually taking over the whole competition, which defeats the purpose of what I'm trying to do. So I wanted them to mix around and get to know each other better. So no pre-formed teams were allowed, splitting them into teams. Okay, great. So now we've got 60 players. Let's split them up into six teams simply by first come, first serve. Well, wrong. You can't do that as well. Because if that were to happen, we wouldn't know what the imbalance would be like. And I tackled this problem by having them submit their height, their skill level, as well as their preferred position. With these three things, it allowed me to balance the teams just a bit better, making sure that all the teams were as balanced as possible. So now we are one month away from competition day. We placed each of the teams into WhatsApp groups and allowed them to mingle and get to know each other a bit better. And I also encouraged them to go out there and play a couple of games with each other so that they understand how each other plays and by the time competition day comes, they would have already some form of chemistry. So I'm, I was so glad that the teams were able to take some time out of their week to meet up with each other and play some basketball. But then now, we were two weeks away from our competition day and everything was starting to come together. I received all the jerseys, got all the banners and also collected all the sponsored items for the goodie bags. We had to even pack the goodie bags ourselves. And now we are ready for day one. Wrong. To reduce the amount of administrative tasks on day one, we wanted to organize like a jersey collection day. We also figured that it was a know great time for all the players to come together and meet meet other players from other teams and while we were at it we might as well put together a basketball game now we are ready let's run through day one to our final day from my pov oh shit it's in the morning uh day one of the competition Today we're gonna to be at Telok Blangah CC. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so we're almost reaching Telok Blangah CC. You got my girlfriend. You got your mother. Please got... green light. Oh, oh, gotta go, gotta go. <laughs> Game I'm gonna start. <laughs> yeah, started. Yay! <laughs> hey guys, I'm very sad. You know why I said? Because I see the guys inside, uh. they play on this so far, right? But I cannot play. Uh, let's go talk to some people and ask them what they think about the games. We're loving it, man. Thank you for organizing. We're having a great time. I couldn't sleep last night because I was too excited, too much adrenaline because I want to fucking win. Now, tell me how you're feeling, man. Uh, adrenaline, uh, all the hype. But I know we'll certainly give a very good fight. We'll come back. Now, show me what you got, man. Yeah. This, uh, Bad light. What? Bad light for the game. Yeah. <laughs> Lose and learn. <laughs> In the morning of Chochukan CC, today is day 3. We are halfway through the competition. Uh, we are carrying some chairs. For some help, we are bringing it all over there. <sighs> so far, so good. Fresh off the court. Hey, how, how are the games going, man? Hey, doing great. Uh, very cool hey, man, uh, compared man. to the previous two weeks. Yeah, so really enjoy the, the games here today. And then the teams are so far, from what I feel, are uh, very, very much balanced. We got Leon working, working in camera for us. <laughs> I'm gonna get needle. This is the first time I'm gonna get needle. You ready? Hey, yo, hey, yo. Yeah, in the butt, in the butt. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Show me, show me, show me some of them moves. Oh, okay. Are you liking it? That's so damn weird. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, okay, guys, we are day four of uh, Fresh of the Court, and we have a new uh, placement for our scoreboard. Commentator and MC for today. You wanna say hi? What's up, man? You already know what it is. We're in Tampanese West CC. Perfect weather for some ball. Check out the weather here. And you already know, man. Son, talk to me. How are you What's feeling? Up? How are you feeling today? 
feeling calm? The sun is rising. Oh yeah, you want, you want some? I'll give you some. <laughs> I'm feeling great today. Today yeah. I think it will be our first win in the championship. Um, so I, I mean, we need this. We need this win today. Hello, hello, hello. By the fifth week, things were smooth and easy as everyone knew what they needed to do. Setting up the court, ensuring the scoreboard was in place and everything in between. Day 5 was the last round robin game before we headed to the finals. Also, by this point of the competition, even the players were helpful enough to get involved in the setup and teardown of the event space. After 5 weeks of travelling around Singapore, our final week was held at International Community School. I wanted it to be indoors with air conditioning to end fresh off the court on a high note. And I'm so glad to have found this court. For the people who are here, the foreigners uh, to integrate into Singapore communities. So I hope you guys through this competition know at least one more person, learn something new, and of course, you know, play the ball, play basketball with uh, someone you've never met before. So um, I'm hoping this is season one, and you'll come to a nice closure, you know, a nice final that we're having, something exciting for for us, something ent entertaining. But more importantly, we'll be looking forward to season two. I'm really excited for it. Although I don't have any plans right now just yet, but but with the support of every single one of you guys that are sitting here and listening to me, I'm sure that we can make it happen. Yeah. And last but not least, the crew members, the people that are wearing these t-shirts. <laughs>